Hello, my amazing students. We are working on the last part of 5.1, which is talking about the special cases. How do we determine that a line is uh, one of the special cases having either two parallel lines, which would have no solution, or a single dependent line, meaning that both lines are actually the same line, they just don't look like the same line. So um, we're going to talk about these two right here when we have two parallel lines and when we have two lines that are actually the same line. And these are kind of our rules here. Okay, what about special cases? If we have the same slope and the same y-intercept, then we have the same line. If we have the same slope in the two lines, but different y-intercepts, then we have two parallel lines. So this is what we're going to go through with these two situations. Okay, so we're going to talk about some special case problems and how to recognize them. All right, so here we have a system of equations and they are both in standard form. So we've got our x term and our y term and on the other side of the equal sign we have our constant. So the first thing that we can do is check out our slope. So we know when we have something in standard form then the slope is negative a over b and the y-intercept is c over b where a is the coefficient of the x term and b is the coefficient of the y term and c is the constant that is at the end okay so in the first equation we'll call this equation one we have a negative a over b of negative 5 over a negative 2 and negative 5 over a negative 2 is 5 halves okay so we have a y-intercept of 1 over negative 2. So our y-intercept is negative 1 half. Okay, so we have a slope of 5 halves and a y-intercept of negative 1 halves. We usually call our slope, we designate it with an M, and we designate our y-intercept with a small b, usually. Okay, so now we look at our second line here. We'll call this line two. We look at line two and we are doing negative a over b to find our slope. Negative 10 over negative four. And negative 10 over negative four reduces to five halves again. So we do have the same slope situation. Both lines have the same slope, but the y-intercept of the second line is negative 7 over negative 4, or 7 fourths, okay? So the b of the second line is 7 fourths, which is not the same as the y-intercept, or the b, of the first line, which was negative 1 half. So again, we said that if we had the same slope, but we had different y-intercepts, then we would have parallel lines, different y-intercepts same slope, parallel lines, okay? So if we graphed these two equations, we would have parallel lines, which means that we have no solution, okay? So this is two parallel lines, no solution, okay? So now let's look at another special case here, all right? Um, when we look at our slope, and our y-intercept of the first line, we say the slope is negative a over b, which is negative one over negative three, or one-third. When we look at our um, c over our b, we get five over negative three, or a negative five-thirds. Okay, when we look at our second line, we get a slope of negative a over b, which is negative 4 over negative 12, which is going to reduce to 1 third, which is the same slope that we had for the first line. 
Then for our y-intercept, we're going to get 20 over a negative 12. And 20 over a negative 12 is going to reduce. If I divide the top by 4 and the bottom by 4, I get negative 5 thirds, which is the same y-intercept we had for the first line. So we look at our little key here. And if we have the same slope and the same y-intercept, then we actually have the same line. So these two are the same line. And to write their solution set, remember I would say the set of all xy, put my little set notation there, the set of all ordered pairs xy such that, and then I'm going to use one or the other of the two equations. Well, I'm going to use the top one because it's a little simpler. x minus 3y, x minus 3y is 5. And that's all you have to do to write the solution set of the problem. Just the set of all xy such that x minus 3y is 5. Now, look at your little hint here. We went through all of that work, but guess what? When we have a line, two lines that are actually the same line, one line winds up being a multiple of the other line. If you take this first line and you multiply by 4, guess what you get? 4x. Minus 3y times 4, negative 12. 5 times 4, 20. If you take each term or the whole equation and multiply it by 4, you get the second equation. They are the same line. Okay, so now let's look at the next one. Right here. And we have to figure out which situation we have. We have one line that's already in slope-intercept form. So I'm not going to change that one because when I'm looking to see what kind of solution set I have, I need a slope and a y-intercept. So this line is already in a perfect form. My slope is 3 over 5, and my y-intercept is 1. I'm going to look at this line. Okay, The slope is going to be negative a over b. So negative 3 over negative 5 is 3 over 5. So we have the same slope as we do up here. Now we check on the y-intercept. The y-intercept is c over b, which is going to be negative 6 over 5. And negative 6 over 5 is not the same as 1. Therefore, these two lines have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. Therefore, they will be parallel and no solution. The last one I have for you on 5.1 is right here. Okay, We're going to start with 2x plus 3y is 1 and 8x plus 12y is 4. Now, if you took my little hint before, you can see that if you multiply the whole first line by 4, we're going to get an 8x and a 12y and a 4. So if you just do that, you can see, oops, I have the same line. These are consistent dependent equations, which means they will actually be the same line when I graph them, and the solution set is going to be the set of all xy such that, a little such that line, and either one of the equations, 2x plus 3y is 1. Okay, so I write my solution. Now, if I wanted to go the other route and find the slope, we would find they both have the same slope and the same y-intercept. Negative a over b is negative two-thirds. Negative a over b is negative eight-twelfths, which reduces to negative two-thirds. c over b is one-third. And the second one's y-intercept is c over b, which is four-twelfths which reduces to one-third. So, we have gone through 5.1 extensively.
extensively, and I hope that you have enjoyed it and learned a little bit something about solving simultaneous equations with two linear equations in them. And I will be back soon with 5.3, which is word problems based on systems of linear equations. So everything that you just learned in 5.1, we're going to do some more of in 5.3. And this is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.